Right, we're joined now by the president-elect of the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors, Dr. Dele Olaito. Thank you so much for joining us on News Night tonight. Well, another strike again. I mean, will this strike not make an already precarious situation in the health sector uh, even worse? Why are you going on this strike at this time with a government that has come in still trying to find its feet? Thank you very, very much for having me on the show. Uh, to start with, will the strike make a precarious situation get worse? We already have a very, very bad situation on our hands in the healthcare sector. And for a government that should prioritize the health care of their citizens, they are not being proactive enough in solving all these issues. Yes, the government is new, but what we all know is government is a continuum. If you look at it, these demands led to a warning strike as of May last year, for which, as a form of settlement, a memorandum of understanding was signed by the government side and the Nigerian Medical Association, the Nigerian National Resident Doctors. This memorandum of understanding, every deadline that was stated there, the government has passed, and they have not shown any appreciable effort in the right directions. We've given ultimatums, we've reached out, we've actually expressed our demands. And these demands are not so hard to meet. The Medical Residency Training Fund is in the budget of 2023. Funds are already been released. Why can't you just pay? The one for one, we are at a point where we are all complaining about brain drain in our hospitals. We sat down, we reached out to the government. The government set up a committee. The committee gave guidelines for this circular. What is delaying you? Why can't you do this? These are actions that we feel can be achieved in the shortest time. So I don't understand why we will have all of these and you are still giving, requesting for periods and all those ones. So we feel for a government that prioritizes the health care of its citizens, there are some actions that could have been taken that would have convinced us that they are in the right direction and in a way give us a reason. Doctors are vast to strike. We are not really, really happy making these decisions. But when it comes to a point whereby it's a make or break, we have to make tough decisions to get the right thing for our citizens and for our members. Oh, uh, Dr. Light, I'm glad you ended by saying getting the right things for your members and your citizens. Well, we, we honestly uh, sympathize with uh, the situation. But then, what measures uh, do you put in place to ensure that uh, Patients don't go from uh, bad to worse and lives are not lost when you go on strike like this. Well, as it stands right now, you know we are currently in a meeting. We are not inhuman. We are still deliberating on the modalities of so many things. So there are continuous deliberations being ongoing to see how far we can help and at the same time press home our demands. Once the neck meets and we have a full deliberation, we'll come out on, on the processes and we'll let the world know and how we want to go about this. But for now, we are hoping strongly within a day or two, the government can set to most of all of these things and we'll ha be happy to return back to work and deliver the health care that we are trained to. Uh, what, has government reached out to you at all since uh, you began this latest round uh, of strikes and I'd like to get your reaction to uh, indications coming from one of uh, President Tunubu's aides that there are chances that the health budget may be increased to about 10 percent. Is that not some uh, you know demonstration of good faith on the part of government? Thank you very very much. Um, for the government yes there is a scheduled meeting by the House of Rep the ad hoc committee set up by the speaker for tomorrow, we are hoping that from that meeting we might actually get something concrete. But aside that, the 10%, though applaudable because it's an improvement from what we have, we should not forget that there's a declaration on ground. There's an, a declaration that was done in Abuja, Nigeria here, where all the states from the West African region agreed to put 15% of their budget in the healthcare system. A healthy community is the one that can achieve much. Your labor force cannot be sick and you achieve much in any other perspective. So if you, an agreement was reached in your own country and you're unable to implement it, it makes that 10% not so amazing as what it should be. 
Yes, it's an improvement, but we feel the government can do more and we pray they do more. Thank you very much. The right. speaker just had a meeting with uh, the president uh, not quite long ago. And the president is saying that we should give him some more time. He's new in government because um, <laughs> he's not been properly briefed on this matter. So what's your position on this? Well, well, we are hopeful that the speaker will be able to intervene properly. And we really appreciate the speaker for all he's doing. But you should understand, like we said, these problems have been lingering for so long. And we've been begging our members for patience for so long. There is a limit to every man's patience. The things we are asking for, every day doctors are leaving our systems and they are not being replaced. It takes a minimum of six, sometimes eight, one year for the institutions to get waivers to recruit. And we are having doctors leaving, nurses leaving on a monthly basis. And one of the major problems why they are leaving is the poor remuneration. Now you have a case whereby you have a pull factor, a push factor where that says no poor remuneration that is pushing people out. And we don't even have a clear stage to quickly get people to replace them. These are things that we feel can be done to help us reduce this process. And if you have six demands on your, on your community and none has been ad addressed, it's a, it makes life very difficult for you to go back and explain to your members that the government is working in the right direction. So as it stands right now, we are hoping the government will get it right and we can all resume back to work. Nigerians are hoping for that, but what are the chances of a middle ground? You have six demands of government. What are the uh, low-hanging fruits, if we could put it that way, that government needs to meet for you to go back, uh, you know, to, to work? What will be that middle ground? Well, as it stands right now, well, the middle ground will be based on what they are bringing to the floor, 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 floor for us. As it stands, you should know doctors are not inhumane, we are not irrational or unreasonable. Once government comes to the floor and they bring in some few things that they feel they can give to us, we'll look at it, present it to our members, and if the members feel they're acceptable enough, we'll return back to work. We are not one to stand our feet and press on regardless of the efforts from others. But as it stands right now, we want to state it that government is yet to make any reasonable effort in the right direction, and that is what is resulting in what we have right now. Dr. Delio Light, we must say a big thank you to you. While we uh, also wish you the best in your negotiations uh, with the federal government, that's the uh, president-elect of the National Association of Resident Doctors, Dr. Delio Light, thank you. Yeah.